Hey, 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 everybody! It's Zelda Savior here. Welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Paper Mario: The Thousand Year Door. In the last episode, we made it to Petalburg Village. Is it just called Petalburg? I think it's called just Petalburg, not Petalburg Village. That sounds kind of stupid. So anyway, we made it to Petalburg, and uh, we talked to the mayor, who informed us we need to venture out to the Schwank Fortress in order to access Hopedale's castle. So, before we do anything, I'm gonna stick around here. I think there's something in here. Where's that? Where, where? Come on. There we go. Got a turtley leaf. Uh, another thing that's mostly just used for recipes. Oh, an email. You got an email. Just travel, you may receive emails from people on your journey. Yay. However, it's not important at all. They just are kind of little side funny things you can read and you get bored playing throughout the game. They don't actually mean anything. Er, I beg your pardon. Wait a moment, please. Who's this guy? Pardon me for yelling like that. I was panicking. Um, how to begin? My name's Coops. I heard you're traveling to Hookdale's castle. So anyway, I uh, I have a favor to ask. Well, um, oh, just just forget it. Never mind. Ignore me. Good goodbye. Oh, okay. That was weird. What do you think that was all about? Talk about issues. <sighs> you sassy little thing, you. You just can't accept a guy for what he's trying to give. He's just trying to talk to me. I don't know what he's trying to say. Oh, a star piece. Huzzah. I actually plum forgot the thing was there. Okay. So, yeah. Good thing I found it. Anyway. So, let's check out what we got in the bushes. Bonk some trees. Bush, bush, bush. Ooh. Oops. Bonk. There we go. Oh yeah, I forgot now that that happens, I should point out, um, being that your battle area for fights is a stage, throughout points in the fight you actually have things, like parts of the stage will fall, fall over, and if things big enough, they actually can fall on you or your enemies and actually damage them, but, uh, in our case, Koopa Troopa has a point of defense, so it negated the one damage that it would have taken. Continuing on, continuing on, searching the bushes. What do we have here? Tree? No. Bush, no. It doesn't hurt to constantly be checking in the bushes and trees for coins. Out of here, Koopa. You can't mess with me. I got your number. And I'ma call it. I'ma call it to kick your butt. Ooh, a coin. This game is always notorious for trying to hide stuff behind little walls like that. Ow. <laughs> Uh, ooh, a power block. That will come in handy right about now, actually. Um, so yeah, you'll find out why in a second. Ooh, what do we got in here? Some some odd-looking stony dudes. Okay. Oh. Alrighty. So there's really no point in avoiding this fight. It's technically it's a little mini boss. You could say that. Um. So yeah. Well, let's have Goomba title these guys. Find out what their weakness is. That's a bald cliff. Basically, a rock monster with a swarthy looking face. Uh, this is kind of mean, but bald guys really just don't do it for me. Max <laughs> HP is 2, attack is 1, and defense is 0. Yeah, this guy's rock solid. Fire doesn't even hurt it. It might be best to attack it with, say, a pow block? Oh, well, lucky for us, we just happened to pick up one of those said pow blocks. So yeah, the game just, I don't know why it really, it, it just kind of just tried to force you to use an item. I don't really know why they decided to do that. I mean, a fire flower would have worked, which we have in our inventory, but it gave us that POW block for... Uh, I don't know why they did that. That was kind of silly. I didn't really think that was a great decision on their part, but anyway. Mo Koopas! Die! Like I said, Koopa, I got your name. I got your number. I'm gonna find you and beat you up every single time. Ugh. Trekking through the woods is long, tiring work. But at least it gives me money when I hit trees. Goombas! I'm gonna hit it with a hammer again. Makes me very angry. Ha 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 ha! I love breaking the game and hitting it. Ooh, a power block. Stop, come back here. But that's what I was saying. 
I love when I break the game and hit flying enemies with my hammer. It is the most satisfying thing in the world. And once again, the game was very obvious in giving us that power block. I am assuming we must use it to defeat these odd looking spike things. Okay, once again, let's see what Green Bella has to say. That's a bristle, totally covered in spikes. They're so prickly. Max HP is 2, attack is 1, defense is 4, and they're impervious to fire. Even though you get in close to. Even trying getting close to whack it with a hammer is dangerous. Seriously, the spikes will totally pop out. Since you can't jump on it or use your hammer, you'd be better using an item. I wonder what I'm supposed to do. Yes, once again, the game throws a pow block at you to use against these enemies. <sighs> ah! The stage was trying to. The stage was gonna kill. do more damage to me than the dang enemies were going to. Oh, game. Once again, defeat the enemies and advance forward. So many Koopas. They'll just never learn. Bonk. <sighs> when will the enemies end? My friends, when will the enemies end? So many silly little enemies. To defeat and stomp and hit with my hammer. Would you quit jumping over him? Oh my god. Okay, come here. There you go. Jump on the Goombas. Okay, that's the last one. Please tell me that's the last one. Ooh, that's an in coupon over there. I don't really want it because I don't really ever plan on using the in that often, so. We're going to skip it. Oh, hit this block to replenish all your heart points. Yay. And unlike in the original, they actually cost money. Not enough money to make it actually damaging to you, so it's not a big deal. But anyway, we're going to save. And what is this? Oh, it's a thwomp. I think we'll leave what's next for the next episode, everybody. Um, So yeah, in the next episode of Let's Play Paper Mario and the Thousand Year Door, we will talk to this thwomp guy and see what's the deal with him. Alright, so, uh, so yeah. See y'all next time.